Last week on Fox, former Speaker of the House Newt Gingrich mentioned something so hurtful, so blatantly hateful, that a Fox News anchor and her guest silenced him and said there was no reason why the topic should even be brought up. Was it Hiroshima? No. Child trafficking? No. Gingrich uttered two frightening and unspeakable words. George Soros. Progressive district attorneys are anti-police, pro-criminal, and overwhelmingly elected with George Soros' money, and they're a major cause of the violence we're seeing because they keep putting the violent criminals back on the street. I'm not sure we need to bring and George Soros last... into this. <laughs> I was going to say you'd get the last word, he Speaker. <laughs> he, he, he paid for it. I mean, why can't we discuss the fact that millions no, of he dollars didn't. he spent? I, I agree with but Melissa. George people. Soros doesn't need to be a part of this conversation. Okay. So it's verboten. All right, we're going to. The most common excuse to refute any conversation about George Soros is to say it's an anti-Semitic conspiracy. Try typing the name George Soros into YouTube and you'll see how many videos come up that include the word conspiracy. Is criticizing the Koch brothers anti-Christian? Of course not. Soros gives to so many DNC-run operations that exposing that an old man from Europe is funding Black Lives Matter and Antifa doesn't exactly look good for their grassroots movement. A few weeks ago, I talked about how George Soros is tied to the Canadian government, with Finance Minister Christia Freeland fawning over him and the fact that his Open Society Foundation drafted Canada's refugee resettlement program. That's not a conspiracy theory, and neither is this. George Soros does indeed invest in politics all across the world, and as it turns out, he has donated nearly $20 million to ensure his minions and rioters don't spend much time in jail at all. Here's former Fox News host Bill O'Reilly, of all people, confirming what Newt Gingrich said. So George Soros has donated $17 million to county races to get far-left progressives into the district attorney's office. That is a fact. All right, $17 million. Now, these are county races. So that's an enormous amount of money. In... Contra Costa County, that's Oakland, California. Soros donated $275,000 to Diana Becton. She is a DA who will not prosecute looters if they're poor. She says, oh, they need. It's okay if they break into the store because they need, they need what they're stealing. In Cook County, Illinois, that's Chicago, Kim Fox, this is a Jesse Smollett uh, total fraud. She was in charge of that. Two million dollars to her. And you know what Chicago and Cook County is. Philadelphia, Larry Krasner, 1.5 million from Soros to him. Krasner doesn't want to keep anybody in jail. No cash bail. Nothing. Let everybody out. Violent criminals? Yeah. Okay. Philadelphia's a mess. These are the cities where George Soros funds the campaigns of attorneys who do not want to prosecute rioters. And if you can believe it, Kimberly Gardner, circuit attorney in St. Louis, not only was she under fire for releasing rioters from jail, she is the same circuit attorney that is prosecuting the infamous McCloskeys, better known as the couple who protected their home from BLM activists who broke into their gated community. She gets funding from George Soros. If outright political campaigning isn't your thing, and BLM and Antifa funding doesn't excite you, you'll be pleased to know that Alexander Soros, George Soros' son, takes a more soft and fun approach to influencing society. Now, if you're not familiar with entertainment executive Scooter Braun, he has helped musicians like Justin Bieber and Taylor Swift make it in the big time. You might be interested to hear, though, that Alex Soros is a backer of Scooter Braun's holding company, Ithaca Holdings. It is with this financial support, Braun was able to win petty battles like buying up Taylor Swift's music catalog. But also, he's able to start larger initiatives with this money, like March for Our Lives. You remember, the organization formed to exploit children who were victims of a school shooting to further Democrat political goals. Almost all of Hollywood donated to that organization that did very little besides expose the world to David Hogg's low testosterone teenage angst. These are not conspiracies though, and hiding behind them as being discriminatory is just a cop out. Just like people who were shocked to find out that Black Lives Matter donations were going towards funding Democratic candidate campaigns, Soros' funding other campaigns is the same thing. This money just goes a different route. The sooner we can all talk about where funding from political activism comes from and goes to, 
the better off we will all be, and the sooner we will all understand the motives behind these fake grassroots organizations. Chances are, if it starts or ends with the word march and pops up out of nowhere to promote everything the DNC agrees with, with celebrity endorsements and nonstop airtime, it was likely by design. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and go to rebelnewsplus.com for more content that you won't get on YouTube.